Wollongong's Nan Tien Temple was established 30 years ago to foster Buddhist beliefs. Along with that was a desire to educate, using Buddhist values as a base. Fast forward 30 years and the Nan Tien monks have created the Nan Tien Institute as a platform to foster talent through higher education. Education that is based around their centuries-old traditions and beliefs. This magnificent development is a setting for community interaction, education and cultural exchange and provides 300 students with comprehensive facilities to support their studies. Strongly connected to the environment, the building provides spaces conducive to quiet reflection, avoids hierarchy and values the spaces in between. It provides a neutral environment, devoid of excess and materialism. Driven by design flexibility and high quality finishes, architecture firm Woods Baggett used precast concrete to create the signature form of the building. One of National Precast's South Australian members, SA Precast, took on the challenge of helping to make the monk's dream a reality. Um, we were asked very early on um, from the builder to have a look at the job. The job originally was designed as uh, in situ, uh, but the builder asked us to have a look at it to see if uh, it could be designed as precast. The result is both a stunning work of art and an engineering marvel, and much of the credit for that can be attributed to the form and function of the precast that has been used extensively throughout the building. That's not to say there weren't a few challenges along the way. The first thing first was obviously to change the uh, in situ walls to precast walls, work out a system that could actually you know, work with our time restraints. Then we changed the, the decks to uh, conventional decks. The Institute's physical shape is Buddhist in form, using the lotus flower for design inspiration Four separate spaces, or pods, are centred around a public space, all connected by internal bridges. And the base of the building was that it was a lotus seed, which has four pods, and hence that was replicated basically in the pods, the shape of them precast, and then once again it was on the, on the external with all these, the facade, we had to turn the baguettes to obviously make that, that same pattern which follows around the building. Curved walls and window openings have created a distinctive look for the building. In fact, the curved shapes share similarities with another type of construction. When I looked at the first sort of panels that were coming out, it looked like we were building boats. Now because you had so many curved moulds or curved units, we had to virtually, it, it was equivalent of building uh, 11 boats. Out of Nantian, we had basically 14 moulds, 11 of them were curved and three of them were flat. And that was uh, really a challenge because of all the different curves and the different uh, arches. The sculptural forms of the pods were made by pouring concrete into custom-made steel and timber moulds to form unique shapes, with the pattern of the timber boards imprinted onto the concrete and visible in the final pod facades. So every panel was a challenge. Uh, there was some that went in very easy and there was others that you know took a little bit longer and we had to manipulate the panels. From a manufacturing point of view, um, because a lot of the panels were radiused uh, and curved and that, and they also had uh, returns for doors and, and window openings, um, the formwork became quite tricky and it, it certainly stretched uh, the imagination of people here in terms of uh, how to actually uh, build the moulds and support the concrete uh, in its curing state. Uh, 169 panels, 13 different radiuses, Basically not one panel the same, so you know, they're all individual panels. Then there was the small matter of shipping the precast elements the 1400 kilometres from Adelaide to Wollongong. It certainly had its challenges only because of the complexity, complexity of the shapes that we were delivering. Um, but for us, I mean, where we do most of our work interstate anyway, in terms of loading trucks and delivering trucks wasn't a real issue for us. Um, we found more difficulty in trying to find the best way to load the pieces onto the trucks um, to keep them safe and, uh, and transport with the minimal amount of damage. The western side is covered with carefully placed veins to provide shade. Each one was individually set in place to a particular angle. It's got a, uh, a baguette system on the external of the building. That external of that building has got 4,000 individual baguettes. They all rotate at 15 degrees or stay straight and once again that was another challenge. The 
result of this build is a truly beautiful structure that perfectly reflects the Buddhist feel that the monks were after. So overall, it's a great job. Uh, I don't think I've ever worked on a job that's been so interesting. Uh, you know, I'd say pride is the word, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just a, you walk in there every day and you just see something different and you have a smile on your face, that, you know. It's nice to see the end, end result and uh, see a product uh, like that um, and know how much hard work went into designing and also manufacturing it uh, and getting the level of finish at the end. I would say it would be fairly, in my 51 years, I would say that it would be one of the hardest. Always get satisfaction. Uh, it doesn't matter how big the project is or how small a project is. I mean, knowing that you've uh, delivered a job uh, and people are very happy with it is always rewarding enough. It's definitely a grand design. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it had its challenges, but yeah, we uh, hopefully we've, we've produced exactly what the architect wants, and the architect's actually excited. So yeah. For a list of precast manufacturers and for more information, go to www.nationalprecast.com.au.